everyone, it's Ashley and today I am bringing you my pretty giant March book haul. I know that I am bringing you this book haul from a different area of my bedroom today. I'm really sorry about that. I'm kind of rearranging my room and in the process of doing that I'm rearranging my bookshelves so my bookshelves kind of look disastrous right now. So you get to see my bed and my side table. Wonderfully exciting stuff. Um, <laughs> But moving on to books, I bought quite a few books this month. I actually did a mini book haul in the middle of March or the beginning of March, I can't remember, from the World's Biggest Bookstore. I will very briefly show you those books that I bought, just the titles and the authors and the uh, covers of the books. If you want to see more about those books or what they're about or that haul in general, I will link that haul down below, but I will show you them because I want this haul to be like all the books that I bought in March, even if I have previously shown them to you. I'm going to show you guys all the books that I got from World's Biggest Bookstore that I've already hauled, which I will, again, it's linked in the description box below, but just so you guys can see them and so that you can see all the books I bought in March because it seems very crazy when I put them all together. It's insanity. I mean, I know that there are people who buy way more than me, but it still seems like I'm buying way too much. But anyways, I will start with those, and the first one is All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman, Love is the Higher Law by David Levithan, Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan, Knowing Me by Delphi Delphine de Vigan, I hope I'm saying that right, Fault Line by C. Desir, and last but not least, The Amazing Spider-Man Matters of Life and Death by Splot, Van Lant, Caselli, Ramos, and Martin. So those are all the books I got from World's Biggest Bookstore that are in a previous haul down below where I will describe what every book is about. Now we can move on to the books that I actually received from some friends this month. They weren't uh, booktuber friends or YouTube friends, they were just my friends from outside of doing YouTube. And the first one I received from a friend this month is Losing It by Cora Carmack. I have been wanting to read this so bad for so long and a friend of mine gave it to me recently because they just finished reading it and they don't actually really keep their books. They normally just donate them after they read them because they rarely reread them. So I'm really excited about this one. And then one of my best friends, Jess, gave me her copy of The Night Circus in hardcover because she saw that I was going to buy it um, not that long ago. And she was like, oh, don't buy it. Like, I have a copy and I don't really want it anymore. And it's in mint condition, which it definitely is. And she was like, you can have it. It's yours. And I was like, you're kidding, right? A joke and yeah she wasn't kidding it's beautiful it's just so wonderful it's in completely mint condition and I'm so excited excited to start reading this because I've heard so many good things and then I received a few books from some publishing houses this month not as many as last month but a few and first is live forever by Amy Talkington I received this from Random House um, however a friend of mine Delaney already read this and said that she didn't super like it she was a it was a quick read, but she didn't really like it very much, so I don't know how soon I'll be picking this up, because once I hear that, I tend to not really want to pick the books up too much. But it's supposed to be like a Great and Terrible Beauty, um, and my friend did say that it was a lot like Great and Terrible Beauty, but it just wasn't necessarily as good. It's about a girl at a boarding school who has a best friend and a boy that she likes, and they're not the same people. And then she dies, and she's a ghost, and she finds out that her best friend has the ability to see ghosts, and that this boarding school that they live at is just full of ghosts and that there's like this big conspiracy theory to kill off the kids and like all this stuff and it does sound interesting but she said that it was kind of lacking so I don't know how I feel about it but maybe if I read it I'll give you guys a review on it and then I also have another one from Random House of Canada and that is White Space by Ilsa J. Bick and this author wrote the Ashes Shadows Monsters trilogy uh, which is a trilogy about zombies and the zombie apocalypse and this one is about a girl who has the ability to like enter other people's minds almost and she has the ability to like make things come out of white space and become real so she can kind of make stories real and make characters become real and it looks super super interesting I'm really excited about this one and then I also have one last one, and that is Grasshopper Jungle from Penguin, and I'm so excited about this book. Not only is this book, like, just a gorgeous book in general, but I really want to read Andrew Smith. I think I'm going to read Winger in April. That'll be on my April TBR once I film that. And I'm just so excited about this. It looks so interesting, and I absolutely adore LGBT books, so I'm just, 
I'm super excited about this book. Okay, so then I have two books that I got from chapters at different book signings, and I cannot remember if I hauled this book last month, and I was just too lazy to watch my haul video to see if I did it. I don't think I did, though, because I think I went to the book signing after the, my uh, I filmed my haul last month. And that is Cress by Marissa Meyer, and I have a signed copy of Cress, and there is a giveaway winner that's actually also going to have a signed copy of Crest that I am sending to them, or that I actually sent to them yesterday. So they should be getting it any day now. I don't know when I'm going to be putting this video up, so who knows. But yes, I bought Cress at Chapters this month, and I'm s this book was so good. So good. And I'm also doing a live show with some amazing booktubers about this book. I will leave my link to all the information in my announcement video for the live show down below. And... Oh my god, if you're going to read Cress this month, please join us for the read-along, and yes, just yes. Yep. So good. So, so good. And the next book I got, I um, bought from Chapters Indigo because I went to a book signing at Chapters Indigo, and that is The Good Luck of Right Now by Matthew Quick, and Matthew Quick is the author of The Silver Linings Playbook, and I mean, if you weren't going to read him because his writing is awesome, which it is, you should read his books because he's awesome. I got to meet him and he answered all of my questions and he was so nice and he just talked about being an author and just everything about being an author and I just, guys, he's honestly one of the best humans I've ever met in my life. It's, he was just fabulous. He was so nice. He's so inspiring and just, oh my god, just... I can't even, I can't even tell you. So it's so, so excited about this book. And this is about, a, this, sorry, I should tell you what this book is about. This book is about a boy called Bartholomew Neal, those just fell over, um, whose mom is kind of on the brink of passing away, from what I can tell, and he, like, after she passes away, he finds a letter in one of her, uh, sock drawers from, um, Richard Gere, and he knows that it was just Richard Gere sending like a mass quantity mail thing out to people to support his cause or his charity of choice, but he decides to start sending letters to Richard Gere about his mom because he sh he thinks Richard Gere should know that his mom thought that, that was a real note and that, you know, like his mom was a great, great person and et cetera, et cetera. So the whole book is written in letters to Richard Gere from Bartholomew. So I'm so excited about this book. And also the cover is just super pretty. And then lastly, earlier this month, I went to the Book Outlet store in St. Catharines. So I know a lot of people know of Book Outlet, which is the online website that a lot of booktubers order from, but there's actually a warehouse in St. Catharines that you can go to and actually browse like a bookstore, and I bought quite a few things there, and that's what I'm going to show you now. And the first thing is Horton's Miraculous Mechanisms by Lisa Evans, or Lisa Evans, and I'm super excited about this book. It's about a little boy who finds out that his grandfather was a magician, and he has a lair somewhere, and he has to find his grandfather's lair before his grandfather's arch nemesis finds it and steals all of his tricks. And this is a middle grade novel, and I'm so excited about it, and there's also a sequel too, and the cover is really, really pretty too. Next, I have Love and Leftovers by Sarah Trege, and the sticker from this book when I went there did not come off, and that is super frustrating. It's just extremely frustrating. This is about a girl whose parents get divorced, and they have to move to a new town. She has to go to a new school and deal with being the new kid, and she just really doesn't like it, and she kind of... It's, a, it's just a contemporary novel, but a girl coming of age, so... Yeah, and it's adorable, and I really want to read some more uniquely written narratives, so I like that this is prose. Next, I have The September Girls by Bennett Madison, and first, let's talk about this cover. What is this? It's so pretty. Um, this is a book that I don't really know a lot about, because it's a lot like Daughter of Smoke and Bone in the sense that they can't really tell you a lot about the book without ruining the plot line, so even the description on the inside isn't very descriptive. But it's about a boy who goes to a summer city place where him and his dad go for the summer, and he meets all these girls, and they seem really weird, and they're all blonde, and they're all kind of, like, mystical, and his life gets altered forever. I'm excited about it, and the cover was gorgeous, and it was, like, super, it was, like, five dollars. Next, I have The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, and this was another one where it was really hard for me to get the sticker off, so, like, that's the horribleness left from the sticker there, but this is a sticker that was also on it saying, like, you should read young adult books, so I just kind of covered it up with that. Um, but this is about a girl 
who sister whose sister just passed away and she's having a really rough time with it and she has a boyfriend who was there for the whole thing and who understands what's happening because he was friends with the sister and etc etc and then she also has this boy who's brand new who helps her like forget that anything has ever happened instead of trying to make her process what happened and she kind of has to figure out which boy is the right one for her and she just enjoys being around both of them for different reasons and I've also heard really really good things about this book as a contemporary novel so I'm excited about it. Next we have Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin and I I legitimately just bought this because of Ariel, Ariel Bissette. That's it. I'm assuming it's about a girl who gets amnesia and has to cope with the fact that she has amnesia, but I have no idea because I really didn't look into it. I just got it because I took Ariel's word for it. And lastly, we have Tangled by Carolyn Mackler. And again, I actually just bought this based on another person's word. One of my best friends loves this author a lot, and I've never read anything by her before. So I just grabbed it because it was a hardcover and it was super cheap. And it's also multiple narratives. So it's four different characters who each will have a narrative throughout the book and is each going through a different problem. And I really like books like that, so. Okay, so I tried to show you all the books once already and they all fell all over my floor. So let's try one more time. And if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna show you the books in one stack because apparently they just don't want me to. Okay, so here are all the books I got this month. They don't all fit in frame at the same time. But there they are! So I hope you enjoyed this book haul and I will see you guys soon with another one. And until next time, thank you all for subscribing and you're all wonderful people and I just adore all of you. So thank you and happy reading. Bye guys! <laughs>